The Life of Christ, 26, The Crucifixion and the Burial, Matthew 27, 35 and through 66, Mark 15, 25 through 46, Luke 23, 33 through 56, John 19, 19 through 42, The Two Malefactors, Fulfillment of Prophecy, Prayer of Jesus, Mark 15, 25 through 28, Matthew 27, 35 through 38, Luke 23, 32 through 34, the title of Accusation in the Three Languages of the Great Civilizations, Chagrin of the Jews and Pilate's Mockery, John 19, 19 through 22, Matthew 27 through 37, Mark 15, 26, Luke 23, 38, Distribution of Christ's Garments and Lottery for the Outer Robe, Revelings of the people and taunts of scribes and priests. What great truth did they unconsciously utter? John nineteen twenty through twenty four, Matthew twenty seven thirty five through thirty seven, Mark fifteen twenty four through thirty two, Luke twenty three twenty four through thirty seven. Conduct of the malefactors, penitence and salvation of one. Luke twenty three thirty nine through forty three, Mark and Mark. Uh, oh, Matthew and Mark. The women at the cross, Jesus commends his mother to the care of John. John nineteen twenty five through twenty seven, you know, different John than the one that wrote it, but um Matthew twenty seven, thirty five, Mark fifteen, forty and forty one. There is contemporary evidence that points out that they were Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of those generations, but not the ones that knew. Jesus, you know, I mean, later, the later generations when we have the text that there was, oh, there's a saint around and he wrote stuff and, well, you know, the try to, the great darkness at noonday, the terrible cry of Jesus, response by the bystanders, uh, by, by the bystanders, um, the thirst and sponge and the vinegar, it is finished, final utterance and death. Matthew twenty seven forty five through fifty, Mark fifteen thirty six thirty seven, John nineteen twenty eight through thirty, Luke twenty three forty four through forty six, rending of the sacred veil, convulsions of nature, and other extraordinary phenomena, conviction of the centurion, and alarm of the people. Well, the blood and the water thing's kind of a symbolic element too. Uh, Matthew uh, Matthew 27 51 through 54 Mark 15 38 and 39 Luke 22 45 and 48 John 19 30 What was the Jewish law concerning the bodies of criminals who had been put to death Deuteronomy 21 22 and 20 uh, verses 22 and 23 What special reason uh, reason why this should be observed in the case of Christ and the malefactors, John nineteen thirty one, measures taken that they might be dead in order to burial. In order to burial, how was it that Jesus had died sooner than usual? Precaution of the centurion, fulfillment of prophecy thirty two through thirty six. What was the rule in the offering of the Paschal Lamb, the type of Christ? Exodus twelve forty six. Numbers nine twelve, First Corinthians five seven, the burial by Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy counselor, assistance and offering of Nicodemus. Mark fifteen forty two through forty six, Matthew twenty seven fifty seven through sixty, Luke twenty three fifty through fifty four, John nineteen thirty eight through forty two. What prophecy was thus fulfilled? Isaiah. 53.9, the women watching and preparing to embalm the body. Luke 23.55 and 56, fear and precaution of the Pharisees, lest the prediction of Jesus' resurrection should be verified. The heavy stone, the government seal, the military guard. Matthew 27.62 through 66. And... So, what can be done with these elements? What do they mean? How much is literal in one sense or another? <laughs>